in the previous video we have written uh, two handler methods to update a record or to update a user which is there in the database for that we have created or we have returned two handler methods one was edit and one was update the edit handler used to show the edit form to the onto the browser and then the final role is performed by the update after the updating the record it the uh, request is forwarded to the details page so so far we have inserted read display all the records and the update now in this video we are going to delete the record from the database after deleting the records we are done with these crud operations within the database for that we have to write the handler method and we will edit the page that is the list.jsp now as we have done in the update method the as we have done in this edit handler whatever the user we have to edit that user id is passed as a query string or appended with the query string same will happen with the delete method whatever the object the user wants to delete the id of that particular object will be appended along with the query string so here we provide the handler mapping delete and the method will be get then as a path variable we will get the user id this is delete and user id then we will fetch the object which is to be deleted or uh, we will make the use of this user service dot we will call the delete method and that delete method we delete the user from the database the so we are using this delete method of the user service after deleting the object we want to redirect the user onto the list page so we will redirect the user onto the list page we will redirect the user onto the list page now we open the list page and in this list page we will provide one more anchor tag and that anchor tag will be for delete if a user wants to delete a particular user place this here and remove this and in the delete provide here the handler delete because we have designed one handler delete here and save this under the list page we will provide some navigation we go to the register page under the details page details page we also provide the navigation so that we can navigate details so that we can navigate to the list page okay so we have returned one delete handler and we have edited the list page and provided one delete option the user id the user which user wants to delete is appended with the query string after this delete method now we open this delete page refresh this delete page now we are getting the option delete now there are the two users james gosling and james cameron now if we press delete there is delete i think we have to uh, run this project again so that our handlers got executed so i am running this project again run as run on server then finish restart server now when the application is run we get this error page because there is no default handler so here we will now change the url to user and then list now we get the list with the added option and now when we delete the record james cameron if we press delete now you can see this record has been deleted from the database 
and we can also verify this by refreshing the database now there are only two records now if we go on to the register page suppose we want to uh, some add the record as uh, the spring framework and then spring at gmail.com 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we can add the record now on this display page i think we should provide one option for this list and we have provide the option for this list uh, we copy this here and paste in the details page so uh, we have some sort of navigation here now this is details page now I provide the list here now uh, when I refresh this page I get user list now spring framework user details uh, this user list this is user list this is list and this is user list i have to first import those tag libs also all i am doing this is to provide a navigation across these pages so that we can navigate easily between these pages if we refresh we get this page now we can go to list page register on the register we also should have a link to the list page now i copy this and i open the register.gsp now this is our register.gsp i again copy here this page now when i refresh this i get user list now there are the option added delete or details if you want to edit this we can add it by updating the user then we can again go to list if we want to see the details of this user we can see the details of this user if we want to delete this we can delete this now we have performed all the operations that are a database operation with this user object like register create details list edit update and the delete operations now we are done with this delete now what we are planning to do in this in the next video as you can see if we register the user here uh, if we enter here the blank fields or the wrong email address or not a mobile number or provide the mobile number of only two digits or 20 digits then all the values will be entered like first name is blank and here this is k now the email is fff and mobile number is yyy if we add the user this user get added into the database now we want to perform the validations we delete this record now we perform the validations in this user registration form so that this first name should not be left blank last name should not be left blank and the email should be a valid email and the mobile data should be numeric and that should be exactly of 10 digits so in the next video we will start with the validation part with the spring framework